Welcome back, everybody, to the back nine of the 2023 Alamance County Pro-Am presented by Insight Therapeutic and Wellness. Yep, yep. Final round here. Uh, I'm Drew Cheap. This is Matt Thompson. We'll be uh, bringing you the coverage today. Well, thanks to Syndicate Productions. Yeah, thanks to Syndicate for getting out here filming in the rain. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's dried up now. Nice. Yep. Uh, the sun's out. You still got a seven-stroke lead on Allen. Allen's got a two on Lance. Yep. And then and it's then a tight battle. A bunch. A bunch back there. Charles and Cody, Tim, myself, Jasper, Jacob, Abel. Kind of just everybody's bunched together. Um, and I think this is a little bit more scorable nine. So Yeah. It'll be interesting to see uh, what happens. Oof. Hold 10. Sorry, I'm having flashbacks. Um, <laughs> i got to slow my heart rate down. Par 5. You go downhill um, through this gap here. you got OB Creek along the left side all the way. Your second shot, you're going to try to move as far forward on this little road path as you can. Um, and then the basket is tucked just over the hill there at the end on the right. Yep. So definitely can can get an eagle pretty easily. Yeah. Uh, Another one that bogey. could be easily. a par four. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, it does have a ton of danger. Yeah. It's probably, at least to me when I'm playing, the most teeth of any oh, yeah. hole. Because uh, you're throwing from so high up there. Anything that's not landing flat on the ground is in a tough spot and what are you throwing here i'm going md3 it's supposed to be flat out of my hand okay but i sneak Drift in towards the creek the tree. Yeah. you can't see it but okay. it's settled. there's okay. some thick it's grass settled. right there and it just grabbed great me. settle you see everything's just kind of drugged towards that creek if you even if you are clean yeah oh yeah so i think he's doing the same looks like a buzz maybe buzz, yeah oh no Oh, so wow. sneaky. What a shot. I mean, that's the place. If you if you can put it, that's where you want to be. Yeah, that's a... <laughs> <laughs> no, you'll take it and you'll yeah. like it. You'll, no. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's gotten some. So I'm going forehand to try to avoid that creek. I like that play a lot. I want to I wanna hit this gap and then kind of work back away from the creek. And I think that was that first one was probably friendly. Uh, really? You don't think it was getting back? Uh, it might have come back. It certainly wasn't kicking me into the water. The it second one was ugly. Did, yeah, the second one almost. That's true. Oh, that's really early from Lance. And that yeah. is... I mean, that's a horrible spot to be. Yeah. He's halfway between that fairway and threes. Yeah. Yeah, he's on a whole different hole. And he's he's still not on the fairway. Wow. Uh, I saw this land and I did not... Okay. He got a long way forward. Yeah, no, he's like past where I am off the tee, and you have a look to get up and down. Yeah, I landed in this. You found a drainage. This ditch. drainage ditch here, so I'm gonna stand down in it. And I'm thankful to be inbounds in this hole. Yeah, luckily you didn't like somehow roll straight yeah. with the drain. Maybe the water got me. That's not the best spot, but no, we'll take it. Yeah, and here's Alan throwing that T-bird again. He's in prime position here. Looks perfect. Oh, oh, dude. Just missed the gap. Yeah, you kind of have to choose uh, on the shot to go inside or outside of those. He got stuck in the middle. <laughs> yep, yep. So he's got a long eagle look, though. Should be a straightforward birdie. Here's yours. Okay, back door? Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted. Yep. Okay. Like, I was super stretched out there just trying to hit the line and angle not go in the creek <laughs> great shot so i was throwing flippy driver is this where he landed yeah this is wow an incredible that spot. was an amazing shot from yeah. where he was he gives it a run oh oh i if he got like a foot more height there i think it had a chance i think so it looks like a hill but it doesn't go too far down the back sides you can kind of blast it yeah i'm gonna try and keep up with you guys here get a good skip get a good skip there yep yep that's where you want to be, right on the green. That one with a little throw bit, I'm assuming. Yep. Little eagle run at it. Ooh, mm. it's close. Look good. Like I said, it's it's kind of safe on the back. I don't feel too bad giving it a you good. Know, I don't want to go too fast. Yeah, that's true. I'm not, I'm not going to say it's simple, but. After I said it was safe, then I laid it up short. <laughs> yeah. Smart play. Smart play. So you've got an eagle look here? Yep. Uh, just inside circle, but really uphill. Okay. Yeah, got to get up and over everything. 
Great pot. Thanks. Yeah, at this point, I think you're competing with mostly yourself. Yeah. No, I think I, I forgot about the par on seven mm. um, and thought I was perfect at this point with the eagle. And oh, the, yeah. Or one off of perfect with the eagle and the bogey. And I knew there was still a chance to go, like, really, really, really high. Really, really low slash high. And so I was trying to. Birdies from Lance and Allen. And I'm sorry to overshadow your eagle, but that birdie from Lance. No, that's insane. I mean, that's the. He parked it. That's from, wild. Yeah. And then I cleaned up a par there. Uh, so now on to hole 11, par 4, 520 feet. Um, that row of trees on the left has a fence that's OB. Um, so you want to get anywhere in this region here, moving up towards the basket, and then your second shot, you can kind of find any way to get, get up the hill. Yeah, there's a lot of options on the upshot. Um, pretty simple forehand. Um, you can get aggressive with the backhand, try and get pretty far, but there's yeah. no reason to. Yep, throw on something overstable to avoid the OB. Yep. Right where you want to be. Yeah, not not too much distance. But this not is another good change from Sneaky Pete. I like that this tee shot got stuck back in the woods and made a little bit more technical. Yeah, I agree. It needed a little bit of yep. uh, difficulty added. Allen with a great turnover. I think a mid range even. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, as long as you can stay in the middle, the the distance isn't isn't brutal. Lance showing the forehand as well. Uh, get stable. Mm. Just a little kiss and it stayed out there. I think it did stay out. Yep. And I'm I'm trying to, as you said, get aggressive. Okay. So round one it worked well for me. Uh round two I went a little tight here. Just kind of stayed on the right side, but Oh, oh, okay. I lost it off the Yeah, it was it was low and right. And so now I've got a patent pending buzz. Ooh. And just not enough turn, but not the worst kick though. No, not a great kick. Again, not not as much teeth as the previous hole, so. No, yeah, not at all. Lance trying to save his par. Yeah, that's better. That's very good. Looks like he should yeah. be able to do from there. That was a great line. We're gonna follow suit. I think everybody but you prefers the uh, forehand up on these. Yeah, I, I just don't trust my forehand right now. So I was, I've been going backhand on some of those shots anyways. Yeah. yeah. Put it back in the water. <laughs> <laughs> and here you go. What's that putter? Uh, the butter. The butter. 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 That's that. The butter putter. A great upshot there. Yeah, Clash Discs makes some incredible putter. I think, you, putter. I think you threw that popcorn and that butter all weekend. I like your, I never noticed it until that putt. I like your, like, one foot, like, oh. flamingo jump putt. Yeah, I don't think I've noticed it. I'm, you know, analyzing my own game. Ooh. And I think that's the first putt Alan missed yeah. all weekend. I was going to say, I never <laughs> count Alan out, even for, like, seven. No, I I'm assume like, that oh, was going in. Great save. Oh, yeah, good save from Lance. And I think everybody but you is going to drop in our pars. Yeah. That's hello bird there. Uh, yeah. I want to give a shout out to Jasper Till though. For, from what I've heard, the card in front of him was walking off the hole, and they just saw a disc flash chains and park the basket. Wow. And I was like, um, what? So incredible too, Jasper. But yeah, insane. Wow. Well done, Jasper. Hole twelve, a par three, three hundred and eleven feet. It's dead straight you can kind of throw anything you want um but it does drop off steep behind the basket so you've got to control the speed uh get it to nestle there yep. close yeah pretty simple uh a bunch of ways to attack it sidearm yeah straight shot hyzer i like the straight shot with a little straight drift shot. my putter I, I do like that the drop off makes you keep it close you don't want a big death putt and you don't want to be long gone but right looks like you figured it out yeah it's just a it's like a 85 percent putter yeah for some folks, you'll see others <laughs> attack it different ways. I think he's got his buzz, maybe. Also looking for the drift. Yeah. I do like kind of pushing at the right side and letting it fade. Yeah. So you don't have that scary up. Or like, I agreed. The uphill makes the putt a lot harder. Definitely. Lance is going to show the forehand. Just got to watch out for that brush pile on the left. Yeah, if you beat that, oh, you're fine. He beats it. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> Only obstacle. Uh, man, looks perfect. Ooh. Dropped right at the basket. 
Hopefully it's stuck. I have the same reaction every time I hear myself make the same noise. <laughs> Lance said bye. He seems to think it's gone. I don't think it is. I think it's sad. It came in on like Spike. Uh, and I'm with you. I kind of like to have that Heiser fight against the hill. Yep. Like right line, a little low. Yep, a little low, but I'm throwing a T-bird so I can get a little more scoop than a putter. He did go down. Wow. Mm-hmm. Bad roll. Oh, Pickle. touched it too. I'm sure he's not pumped about this. This is a hole kind of right in front of you you want to get. but Yeah, this is like a musket. I bogeyed it first round, and I felt <laughs> it, it horrible. Happens. This is a scary putt from Allen. Doesn't matter. Never doubt. Oh, my goodness. I like The man was on fire this weekend with his putting. I mean, that was that was at 40 feet if he misses the basket there. Oh, yeah, man. Or more coming back uphill. Yeah, be proud of that one. <laughs> oh, and you sat nicely. Yeah, oh, yeah, I settled up pretty good. Like I said, I like that T-bird to kind of be fighting into the hill so I'm not right. headed towards the gravitational pull. There's yours. Putter's probably good to, to settle to. Yeah, it trickled just a little past, but I don't think it'll go too much worse than that. No. I think that's one of the easier holes in the course. So. I, yeah. Three birdies and a par. Hole 13... Sorry. You got it. I'll take it from you. Uh, par four, 480 feet. Really an interesting design. So you're you're throwing a fairly short first shot here to land in this landing zone. You've got the OB pond. On your second, you're going to go across the water. Um, and you see the basket dead in front of you. So this one's really just about executing yeah. and avoiding the water. All about the first shot, um, yep. in my opinion. Uh the water isn't the OB line on the short side. It's those logs. And oh, so true. you do have to keep it a little closer um, on this side. So you're going forehand. It's like a zone maybe. Yeah. And yeah. I'm fine with settling Great even spot. on top of the hill. There. True. As long as I have some type of line, which you usually do. Um, yep. And this is, I think, maybe his zone also. Yeah. Very similar to yours. Maybe a little further forward. Yep, oh, a little, yeah. little further there. right. That's true, he's further right. I like the left side. I think it opens it up I a little agree. bit more, but the, the right is fine as well. I'm as long as you're to, not in the fence line. Trying to follow suit with the Raptor and a little further than you guys. Yeah, that brings in the OB. It it's happens. a little sketchy. Yeah. You don't want to cut it off right because you can lose your angle. Um, like yeah. I said, I like it. It's about executing a good shot. It looks like Lance matches yep. you guys as well. So... Here's, a, here's Alan with a turnover. turnover. I mean, a great shot. Oh, yeah. Sit off the tree. <laughs> cool reaction. Yeah, you can get pinched if you leave the, the first shot short. But I think everybody's okay. You're going straight across. Yeah, I slipped a little bit. It made me pull it, but barely snuck by that Still tree. Still fine, yep. As long as you miss those trees up there, you're okay. Here's Lance. Really the same spot. Yeah, it should be... Fairly routine from there. Yep, yep. You can even get a little scare if you want. Oh, Ooh, hit a tree. That's mm, some work to do, look. but. And I was OB. Same. Like you said, that, that log is right on the line. Yeah. And we missed your shot. Missed but... the shot. But you, you, saw, you saw it three other times, so I did the same <laughs> thing everybody else did. <laughs> yeah, you saw the finish. It's parked. Yep. Easy save. Good Great putt. Great putt from Lance. Great birdie putt. Yeah, do you always – okay, so on those, those like that where I mess up my upshot, do you feel more pressure or do you just, like, know you're going to make the putt? Oh, that's a good – If you leave it, like, 30 on a really easy shot. Yeah, I, I feel more pressure. Okay. Are you the same? Uh, It's, like, 50-50. Okay. Oh, that's, like – I. <clears throat> Man, that got slammed in the water. Yeah, sorry. It <laughs> caught me off guard. <laughs> Because um, for me, I'm trying to forget about my upshot, yeah. but I'm I'm bad about holding on to my upshot and trying to make a hard putt. And I yeah, probably yeah. should let it go and just make the putt. Yeah, exactly. I, I had one this weekend, this past weekend at Dogwood uh, on 18. I flubbed the upshot from mm -hmm. like 140 out and like was so nervous on the putt, but made it. Yep, but, but made it. So three birdies and a par again, about standard. Uh, hole 14, par four. 500 feet, you got to throw through this gap, and it's a scary gap, and you're throwing straight uphill. 
Yeah. Um, and then your second shot, um, hopefully you're getting far enough on your first that you can see the basket and have a pretty good run up and angle. It is tucked back in those trees. I don't see it, but I believe it's a little there. cove of cedars, <laughs> little cedar cove. Um, there it is. Yeah. I mean, even if you can't see it, you have the really good mark of the giant tree right That's next true. to it. Yep. Um, the first shots where all the work's done. I think here. Yeah. I this, agree. In any early kick is, is pretty ugly. And I know you've heard me say that all day, but it's true. It's true. Yeah. I like the forehand play. Yeah. I shank that, but okay. <laughs> I got really far, um, with a good flex. So he's following that, but he leaves it a little further right. Yeah. Should be fine. There is an OB road on the right side. Yeah, OB fence okay. line. Um, That's right. It's the fence. Uh, But right in between those is what you want. That's what you want. Maybe Lance will show us in between the two. There it is. Yeah, that's beautiful. That's perfect. I hadn't seen anybody take the forehand until you three all did it. I think it's just easier. I think you're right. Um, and I think next year that's what I'll do. Pad just a little bit, and it made like a world of difference on the angle. Okay, and I'm I'm throwing the backhand and ooh, 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 that flipped just in time. <laughs> Thank goodness. And that's a good shot. Yeah. Right on top. Very happy with that. <laughs> so we got Allen going first. He stayed safe. Yep. That's a great shot. Wow. Great. Yeah. This isn't bad, but the uh, the run up can get a little bit tricky on the hill. Yeah, it's pretty pretty steep uphill. That was well executed though. Should yep, be like well twenty feet. All right, I pull it just a little bit. I'm hoping to skip. Okay. So again, not too bad. Yeah, coming in front of that stuff, you're gonna yeah. have a look. It's a little bit guarded green. Lance looks like going the tomahawk here. Is he? Yeah. I'd, wow. I'd, okay. Yeah. <laughs> However you want to get there. Yeah, I mean, if you do that every time, I'll this is take what it. distance gets you. It's a uh, wide open look. And the worst shot of the bunch. And the worst <laughs> shot of the bunch. Yeah, I just I thought I'd do that exactly how I wanted. It just stayed out a little stayed wide. Long on you. Yeah. You have a little circles edge putt. Yeah, a little circles, circles edge putt. Another one of those straddles we talked about. Ooh, great putt. Yeah, thanks. Nice little catch on the left. Yep. <laughs> that bug landed right on my hand as I was lining up to putt. <laughs> and you didn't stop? I did. No, I stopped. Oh, okay. I got it and moved on. You got a, You have a window there? Uh, Yeah, it was really tricky. Um, It was like low ceiling for me. And I missed it right. Missed it right. Yeah. But, I mean, that was kind of the miss. I yep. was... Great putt from great, Alan. Great bird. And Alan's putting together a really nice round. He is. And Lance gets himself a birdie. Yeah. So, and, uh, again, it looks like three birdies and a par. I think that's the third hole in a row we've done that. Wait, really? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Dang. So the, the sunlight is being kind to us. I think everything being dry. Oh, yeah. Helps immensely. <laughs> it does. Uh, so hole 15. Par three, 325 feet, dead straight into this gap. Um, hit the gap, keep it straight, and you'll be A-OK. -okay. Yeah. Fairly straightforward. Pretty literally. straightforward, <laughs> yeah. Uh, if there's wind, this one gets a little tricky having to try to keep it straight, but it was pretty calm at this point, I think. It so. was. It, it kind of messed with me how calm yeah, it was. Yeah. Because it had been headwind in practice the entire time. It was, and everybody was turning them over. Looks pretty good here from Alan. That's gorgeous. Wow, yeah, excuse me, I'm sorry, Alan, I said pretty good. I meant amazing. <laughs> Gave it a little run, I think. Lance going tomahawk again? Nah. He's thinking about it. That's a smash. That's a long tomahawk. Oh. oh. It's, not, it's not open over there either. No. I'm sure he can find something. Yeah, yeah, he's 100 out, maybe. Yeah. A little more. Going with a T-bird. I like it. I also was a little bit thrown off. I had a headwind the whole practice, but I was still fine. Yeah. Oh yeah. Just get all the way down there. Looks like a mid-range from you. Yeah, I'm going MD3. Okay. Um, and like, 
I, it had been drifting the entire way yep. in practice, and then that one just faded out on me a little bit. But I think I'm still putting. I think you're down there, yeah. Yeah, you're right. You had the, the practice with the headwind, you're used to letting it just drift all the way straight. So here's Lance. Looks like he finds a line to get there, at least. Get it, get it. Whoa! Whoa. I forgot about that. I did, too. What a putt. Or what a bid. Yeah, what a bid. That's unfortunate. All right, this camera's not doing it justice. This was like 45 feet. Okay? That's a 10-footer. It looks like about? a 10-footer tap-in. Good putt. No, thanks. Good, nice, nice tap-in. Yeah, nice tap-in on the 10-footer. I don't believe you. No, no <laughs> circle two, I promise you. Uh, here's you. Yeah, Definitely this one's five feet. Me. Yeah. <laughs> no, I was like Great 20. Putt. I was nervous, but... Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, the woods makes you... Put all sorts of uncomfortable ways. Oh yeah, Allen's. Here's Allen. Actually, ten feet. Actually, ten feet away. Great putt. Two, yeah. Almost a star frame with Lance's bid. So I think this is the fourth hole in a row. We got three birdies and a par. But um, as we said on this course, if you stay in the middle, um, birdies are are not too hard to come by. But if you get off the fairway, it gets ugly. Yeah. Quick. Quickly. Another one yeah. of my favorites. Oh, I love this hole. Par 5, hole 16 here, 875 feet. You're going to throw out of this gap, into this gap, potentially through this gap for some of the bigger arms. Yeah, either hoping to get past this. lay up in front of it or go through it. Yep. Um, and then your second or third shot will be thrown across this field, and you've got this basket on a steep slope. Um, and if you don't get close enough... To throw your approach you can't see the basket very well or at least the bottom of the basket so right it's uh tricky on the eyes it is um and if you're not lined up for this gap on the second you're you're forced to either lay up or go over right which the over is doable yeah he drags it a little oh. bit right but a good kick to stay out yeah yeah definitely a cool hole i really like this one same And you're throwing. Uh... So I'm throwing a lift there. Ooh. Kind of like a like a Valkyrie, like a little bit flippy nine speed. Oh, that's a great shot. Right where I want to be, dead center. Well, I don't have the arm for the eagle, so I just want to stay in the middle here. Yeah, yeah. Is this your grace? Yep, I'm going for the eagle, hundred percent. Absolutely. I pull it as well. Got most of the way up there. Great kick, come straight down. Yeah, I mean, without the kick, it might have gotten to I, I think so. Yeah, I'm not mad at it. No. I was surprised. So it looks like no eagles on this hole not, today. Not that round, no. Round one, there was a few. Yeah. Lance also a little bit right. It's sort of easy to do when you're trying to throw really hard through that second gap. Yeah. But he had a good kick out to the fairway, so everybody should be able to get... Everybody's birdie. in a birdie spot, yeah. Yeah. Get off. yeah. yeah. Oh, stupid wind. That's still good. We got that up and down. And he'll probably be like 350 out. I think so, yeah. Not yeah, yeah. Pretty manageable. Lance has a good wide wide open look here. And crushes it. Yeah. Yeah. Full flight. It's coming out too. Man, he got way up there, so yeah, he should be within bumped. 150, I think. Oh, for sure. That was that was ripped. Need the radar gun on these. I'm trying to follow him. Yep, you're following that line. Oh. oh. Yeah, it was pretty That looked close to the tree. Was it close? Yeah, it was very close. Ooh. I had to, like a foot down step right where I had to plant, and so I was just trying mm -hmm. to hit my line and angle. I think that's my only issue here is right in this gap that you want to be is really um, it's few, bad footing. Yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm going stand still forehand. I've got nowhere to run up, but that's okay. That's a good play. Again, I'm not I'm not thinking eagle. I don't think I can get there, so as long as I get forward, it's okay. Yeah, it's probably still about five from there. Yeah, yeah. I, I just want to get far enough so I can see the basket. So you can see here from Alan, he can't see the basket. Yeah, he's throwing a blind shot, and that is ripped, it looks yeah, like. Yeah, it does. So if he misses that stuff on the right. He might be a little deep, just I think a so. little bit. I think so. And there you can see the basket come into view. Yep. And looks like you got the ground play right to it. Yep. Yep. Just try and skip it up behind there. I didn't know what to do from here. <laughs> I wanted to give it a half bid, but also yeah. to lay it up. It's Stay very to... steep, and it keeps going. Yeah. 
Stayed a little floaty on me, but still like 15. Oh, Alan may have either blasted or rolled. Yeah, I don't know. It was, it was pretty hot, but I think moving. it did roll. He went a long ways down there. So you see he's throwing it to come back. This is further than putt range. Gives it a bid, but... He's got a tester for the par there? Yeah. A little downhill tester. Looks like Lance for his birdie. Birdie, yeah. I think. Yeah. Pretty steep uphill. Great putt. Yep. Yeah. And Lance's putting this weekend was very, yeah. very solid as yeah. well. Yeah, a little tester. But it's Allen. So. Yeah, it is Allen. No fear. No oh, way. Oh, no. Sit. He's telling it to roll. <laughs> Man, I forgot about that hole for did, him. Yeah. Me he too. still had an incredible round. Yeah, he did. Wow. And I mean, this but, is one you really, really want to get. Yeah, you, you've got to get this one. Good birdie. Yep, um, yep. Good birdie. I'll take a birdie. Thank you. So, starting my streak a little bit too late in the round, but another good birdie there. So. Three birdies and a par. A bogey. A bogey. Oh, no. We messed up the street. Man, Alan. That's all right. Man, hole 17. Just right in front of you, 318 feet, par three, directly over this water. Um, and actually, that ledge there is the OB line, so you've got to get pretty far off the water. Yeah, and I think it's an island as well. It is an island, yep. So drop zone is, how far is the drop zone? Uh, it's probably 40 feet. 40 feet. It's, it's a little soft, but. Okay, down on the right side if you miss the island. So whatever whatever throw you can get, whatever disc you're comfortable with, just go over the water here. Yep. It's uh, all so, about the commitment. Yep, I'm going forehand firebird. There's a branch out over the water on the right side I'm trying to avoid. So. Definitely avoided it. Yep, definitely avoided it. Trying to kind of sneak up the backside there, and I think I've got a, a circle two look, but yeah. we're clean. Inside the island. Yep, yep. Looks like you're going popcorn again. Yeah, popcorn. Oh, you almost fell in the water. <laughs> that thing did just drop. It did just drop. I didn't I mean, notice that. was looking that. perfect. Yeah, it, it dropped almost immediately. And that, if you hit those trees on the edge, they're kicking you kind of back OB. Yeah, yeah. I think without that tree, I'm I in. For sure. But so Lance going flip up here. Oh, that's so Really well sick. done. Yep. Nice. Cool. Wow. Yeah. Yep. That'll do. Not a shot many people throw very well. <laughs> no. Not a shot I'd choose to throw. No, on but hey. Looks like he's going with that buzz again. Alan is. And no, missed that tree either side. Might have been a good kick. Uh, I you don't want to hit that one. I'll tell you that. Oh, he's safe. Yep. Okay. He's safe. So, long look through the woods, but... Oh. All right. So, he's got a par. You can't be too upset with a par here. No. No. I'm a little bit closer, but in a similar line here. Ooh. I love the top of the basket you do, today. <laughs> you do love the top from distance right now. Distance, but uh, and you're from the drop zone, okay? Yeah. What? Great, great cat. How did that go in? <laughs> I think you hit the top. I, I don't think I noticed that when I put it. I thought it was like a okay putt. You were already putting your your stuff in your bag and moving on. Yeah, yeah. But good putt from the drop zone. Good clean up. Hmm. Lance with the best shot at a birdie here, but we'll take four pars. I was surprised at how little birdies yeah. were on this hole. Only two birdies on the day, so it's probably worth the shouting out, Daniel McDonald and Tim McLean. Yeah, I... I was surprised as well. It feels pretty simple to get. Yeah. I mean, there's a bunch of danger, but if you throw your shot well, it's pretty simple. It's, it's right in front of you. Uh, I believe they used a towel clip to fix the chain there, oh so... My gosh. Well, Thankfully, nobody uh, hit it. Yeah, that's Hole 18, here we go. Um, super, super tight tee shot here. Uh, par 4, 471. Your first shot, you just want to go straight. Um, and then it turns 90 degrees left here for your second shot. Um, you kind of got to work something right up the hill pretty far to get to this green. Yeah. Pretty much a sidearm only on the second shot. Yeah. Yep. Uh, 
first shot is whatever you can get. Yeah, however you can spot. hit the gap on the first ones. This was the second toughest hole on the day, averaging 0.36 over par. Okay, wow. What is that? So I was going to say, I didn't think they were... I mean, I guess if you do get off early, there's a lot of bogey potential, mm -hmm. but... Yeah, I saw some ugly ugly bogeys, because this okay. is a really tight tee shot. It is, it is. So, I think you'll see all of us pick a different disc, but however you can get there, you get there. Are you going Firebird? So I'm going Thunderbird there. Thunderbird. Go a little bit straighter, a little further. And I'm pumped. Yeah, no, that's a great if shot. This, if this spot. round had eight more holes, I may have won the tournament. That's all I'm saying, okay? <laughs> eight more? Eight more is all I needed to catch you. Okay. Uh, what are you throwing here? Uh, I don't know, actually. I can't see it. MD3. MD3, okay. A little early. Good kick, though. Yeah, that was a great kick. You're happy in the middle here. Yeah. Uh, Lance throwing this, this flip up again. We did it perfectly last hole, so... Yep. Oh, missed that tree on the corner. Oh, I caught it, but okay, still in a good spot. Got got far enough forward. He's yeah. okay. And Allen is throwing, I think, a mid range or a putter. I think he's going straight putter. Yeah. Yep. Straight putter. So Which, you see, there's four different plays, but however you can get through the gap is all you want to do here. Yeah, I'm really sad I didn't practice the straight putter shot because that looked way easier than what I'm trying. Yeah, they made it look easy. You just sort of have to lay up around the corner here. Yep, just a little pitch up. Lance throwing that forehand. That's a little inside, just catches the corner tree. The The basket's placed really far up the hill, and you're forced to really either flex something or try to go. Skip shot. Super skip, yeah. It's really tough to get there. Low ceiling, too. Yep, looks like Alan does a really good job. Good skip. Yeah, they look great. Not too often on a par four, you go putter and then high speed driver on your second. Yeah, it is. It's a good switch up. Yeah, a little backwards. So I'm doing the same. I'm trying to do the same as him. I'm on a DD3 and just trying to skip. Pretty pleased with that shot. Yeah, no, that looked great. <clears throat> and you've got. Looks like a Firebird. Yeah. Trying to follow suit. Just trying to, yeah, beat the trees. Have some type of look. Yep. It's good again. So I think you're going to have four uh, somewhat long looks here. Steph Curry. Bounce up. Yourself for the long yeah. birdie. Oh. Mm. Mm. Would have loved to finish the day there, but I don't. I don't awesome. think I'm upset with a par on 18 at all. No, no. I don't think anybody is really. No. This is to save my par. Yeah. yeah. Nice Great uphill yeah. putt. Hold on. Yeah, I really wanted that just for the score sake. Yeah. yeah. You don't want to finish your day with a bogey. And then Allen ended up really close. Yeah, wow. That's really. I mean, this is probably as close as I've seen on this hole. So he takes one of only two birdies on the day. Wow, yeah. From 18. And he had a, a great round there. So he takes the only birdie, and then I think three pars. Three pars. Hey, we yeah. opposite switched it, it up. Yeah. Uh, which really, again, compared to the average, that's probably a, a well played hole. Yeah, for sure. I think I'm sitting in this little hole here, but as long as there's not a snake, I'm okay with that putt. <laughs> I think you'll be all right. If there's a snake, I'll take a double bogey. And that'll do it. Uh, yeah. So again, I'm really glad the weather cleared up second round. Yeah, no, I, I did. Same. Alan, did Alan have to tell you that you won here? Is that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we were making sure. Uh, <laughs> no, we were talking. He said uh, we were like joking back and forth. He shot a 10.50 rated final round. 10.50. It dropped under. Sad. It, ah. 10.48. So here's here's Jacob and Badge presenting you with the trophy. Yeah. Again, thanks to all the work and. Yeah. Uh, a ton of work went into that course. Yeah. And I know there's a lot of work left to be done. Yeah, uh, of course. And they did did a great job running the tournament again Sick this year. Trophy. Shout out Play It Again and yeah. uh, Underground Disc Golf Club. So there's yourself. Alan with a great round, moving into second. Lance finishing out the top three. Um, had a pretty good comeback after a, a, kind of a rough start. Yeah, yeah. I played the back nine really well. Uh, um, Charles like and Jasper. Show. Thank you, thank you. Finishing out top five. And then Cody, Jacob, myself, Tim, and Abel rounding out the top ten. So. Yeah, really solid uh, tournament. Oh. Yeah. 
ton of fun. I know we'll be back here for, uh, like you said, the women's. Yeah, yeah, I'm excited. U.S. Women's Disc Golf Championship in September, September. at this very course. And a huge thanks again to Syndicate Productions, uh, Battle in the Weather, coming out there in the rain. So make sure you please uh, like those guys, subscribe. Um, tons of cool content, uh, local pros, some traveling pros in there. So see you guys next time.